This is Kenobi One. He's an autonomous security concierge and events robot. He's fitted with cameras, he can do surveillance, he can assist the security control room in responding to situations and give vision on the ground. He can act as a help point in an emergency. So somebody can, through Kenobi, call to an emergency center, uh, get assistance. Hi, I'm John from Monbury. How can I help you? Robbie, which is our inventory robot, helps our library staff. On a daily basis, Robbie will scan the shelves and they detect the location of the books on the shelves. After that, it will transmit the location where the item was detected and it will update in our library catalogue so that uh, it's useful for our front-end users because then they will know exactly where the item is on our library shelves and they don't actually need to go and search for it. It actually helps our library staff because it releases them to do higher value tasks. Here you can see there are two robots. One is Snow and then the other one is the Tammy. For Snow, you can see the face is very cute. I think most of the students when, or the kids, when they see Snow, they are very happy. So for Snow, what uh, can do is, let's say, sing, dance, all this can do. Also interactive with children, let's say, question and answer. For this will be very good for teacher as a, to teach all the things through the robot as well. And also from us, we develop a new software to capture the temperature as well as to mark the attendance. For Tenmi, a small personal robot. The size will be a little bit smaller. For this robot, mainly we can do more like a video conferencing. Let's say the parents, uh, they travel overseas, but they also want to join, let's say, the dinner or lunch or meeting with the family. This robot, you can see also same as the table size or this, so they can see as a joint to have a meeting, dinner, all this all together. So this one would be very good to present at home or even in the office. So in Singapore, of course, and in fact globally, but particularly in Singapore, we have a manpower shortage. There's a shortage of, of security officers. And this trend is continuing. So Kenobi is here to assist a security guard to be more efficient. Instead of a guard having to respond to every incident around a site, you could have three, four, five robots and one guard managing that efficiently and smartly with the, with the help of technology and connectivity. Kenobi comprises of a myriad of sensors to help him navigate, but doing so safely even in a crowded uh, public environment. You know, when he's interacting with small animals, children, people, the safety is foremost. When we installed Robbie in uh, Tomasic Poly, we, we didn't know that we had this blind spot that the robot couldn't see that it fell out of the space. You know, once we have that problem, then we will start to redesign the base or at least a robot the ability to scan or you know, feel its environment uh, differently. We have designed the robot in such a way that you will not have any more problems falling off the stairs or things like that. Robbie actually works from the morning all the way into the evenings, the late, late evenings until about uh, 8.30 p.m. Um, the staff will move in into a fire safety cabinet before the library closes at about 9 p.m. And the reason for this is because of Robbie's uh, onboard uh, lithium battery. Just for safety's sake, we don't want to risk any fires. 